loved the old man. Hey there, what is up? I'm Strokeman, and today I'm going to show you how to make a SteamOS bootable flash drive. And I did, I made a video maybe about a month ago showing me actually building a Steam machine. And the method I had used to make the SteamOS boot drive, it didn't work for me, so I had to make it again myself, and I just decided, hey, why not make a video of it? And without any further ado, let us go started. First, you gotta go to steampower.com slash steamos slash build your own. And here is what Steam's or Valve's current requirements are for SteamOS an Intel or, or AMD 64 bit capable processor. processor. 4 gigabytes of RAM or more, to a 200 gigabyte or larger hard disk or hard drive, NVIDIA or AMD graphics or Intel graphics. And I myself can confirm that this also does work with uh, AMD APUs. I the Steam machine that I built, it only had a a6 5400k processor in it. I, I did put a dedicated graphics card in it since then, but initially I didn't have one because I wanted to see if APUs work, and they do work. So after all that, I'm going to do the automated install, and um, so you click on the number one, just download the SteamOS installation, and then you got to grab a flash drive, one that probably has like, I, I'm using a 4 gigabyte flash drive, so grab that and plug it in, and keep in mind this is going to erase everything on your flash drive, and also when you do install SteamOS this will erase everything on that computer. So there it is, it's showing up now. And it's usually good to format format it to a FAT32, and I'm in Ubuntu, and I don't feel like using the terminal right now, so I'm going to use Gparted to do this easily. Turn my password. On. Switch to the flash drive. Now right click on it and hit unmount and then right click on it again and go to format 2 and fat 32 and after that hit this check mark up here click apply and now it's done so close this and we can now close G party. And then after that, go to wherever the zip file is that you downloaded from Steam. And open with Archive Manager. Hit Extract. And go to the flash drive. And then hit Extract. It might take a minute because it's a pretty big, it, it's a lot. This is a 1.6 gigabyte thing, so it could take a second. I'm gonna pause the video, come back when it's finished. Alright, so we just finished and you can hit 
show file show the files and this is now what this looks like and you can rename this this uh if you wanted to you could rename the flash drive so now this is i'm going to go over to the other part of this video where i'm actually going to show you that what i just did actually works so um I'm going to be doing this in my fish tank computer and it's a fish tank computer because it actually is in a fish tank. I was building a mineral oil computer. I got it completely built, but I never had the money to buy the oil because it's it, it's a lot of money for almost 10 gallons of mineral oil. So I will be right back and I will show you that this actually does work. Alright, we're now in the second part of this video and there's been a little change of plans. I had forgotten that my fish tank doesn't have UEFI and I failed to mention at the beginning of this video that in order for this method to work, you have to be able to use a UEFI. I think the only real, this might only be a problem for people who are using older computers. I, I think that new computers now have this option already. so. To show that this actually works, I had to switch it over to my Steam Machine, and I will just boot it up and show you that it can load onto the the SteamOS boot flash drive. So let me turn on my computer. And for my motherboard, I have to press F11. And I have to scroll down to UEFI SanDisk. Notice the UEFI part. And there you go. I Now I can install it right now if I wanted to. And I probably will reinstall this just to make another video. And um, th yeah, that's pretty much it. But if you like this video, please like it. If you didn't like this video or you don't like me, just like it. And if you really liked it, maybe even subscribe. Um, I'm Stroke Man, and I. If you like the music in this video, please check it out on iTunes, Google Play, Amazon. It's on a whole bunch of other stuff. I just had a new album come out last um, December, so please do all that and. I'll see you in another video, so have a good day.